So the price war is on, right? Sony dropped its PS3 to 299 and also released the PS3 Slim. And they are selling this for like two days now. And um, it's like in all the media, TV and such. They are praising the new PS3 Slim as the new best thing ever out there that you can possibly achieve. And also Microsoft, and that tells you that Microsoft is still afraid of Sony in some form. They've also dropped their price on their Xbox 360 Elite Edition, which is as far as I know the best thing you could possibly get from the Xbox to like 299 or even 249. I've read something about that. And you know, Nintendo didn't even bother to drop the price because the Wii is already fine as it is. I gotta tell you, I don't own any of these consoles. I don't own a Wii, an Xbox, or a PS3. PS3. But why do I bother making this video? Well. Um, I have been playing with the idea to get a console like that for like over a year or so, you know, before Christmas, before last Christmas I wanted to actually buy a PS3, but I just thought, okay, it's just too freaking expensive, you know, it was 400 bucks and all you really got was this console controller and a game for 399 and that, that was just too freaking expensive and I was afraid of the Xbox and that Red Ring of Death thing, although I've heard both sides you know, there's one, there's the one side that says, okay, the Xbox never dies on me, and there's the other one that says, okay, the, the fucking 360, you know, dies every half a year on me. So I don't really know what's that all about. But as far as the PS goes, you know, and I'm familiar with the PS1, that was my last console that I owned, by the way. So I skipped the, the GameCube, and this generation, the last generation I skipped, and I had been skipping this generation as well for this day. And I was planning on getting the PS3, but then I saw that they also dropped the price on the old PS3 model. And what's funny is that the PS3 Slim is 299, and the old console is also 299. So I'm I'm asking you right now, why would you actually buy the old model if you can get the new one for the same exact money? The, the, the newer one, the Slim, it's less noisy. It uses it's less power hungry and it consumes less space on your table so why would you even bother getting the old one for the exact same price that is so yeah I didn't really bother buying the PS3 because it was on it was 399 and then later they they dropped they wanted to to drop the price a little bit but they really didn't they just decided we're gonna throw in a blu-ray movie you know just gonna keep the price and then eventually it dropped down to 379 and now we have the PS3 Slim, which is 299 but if you buy that, you only get the friggin' console and a controller, as far as I know. No game, nothing. And if you want to... If you can get PS3 bundles with a game or with two games, but then again, it's way above 300 bucks. So where's the savings? And a lot of people say that the PS3 is so friggin' expensive and they would rather get the Xbox but in the long run, I think the PS3 is cheaper because you don't have to pay for online play. And yeah, just I just want to give you my opinion about these three consoles just real quick. I'm not gonna tell you which console is the best or which one you should get because that's honestly even if I could do that, I wouldn't do it because it's stupid. But in fact, since I don't own any of these three consoles, I can't really tell you which one is better than the other. But yeah, Nintendo's Wii. Let's start off with that. I always thought that Wii was the my least favorite console out of this three because whenever I saw a Wii game it was it always had kinda well not really bad graphics but very strange graphics. And no I'm not a graphics whore because you know I'm I'm playing browser games that don't have any graphics at all. Gameplay for me comes first. The Wii doesn't really have that much games that I would play. And I really thought that for a very long time. But I, I I've seen on the Gamescom especially that this has changed. There, there are games on the Wii that I will play, and quite a lot of them. So that's pretty much the downsides on the Wii. Then we have the Xbox 360, which I mentioned, the Red Ring of Death thing, which I don't really know if it's true or not. I've heard a lot of people that the console dies on them, but then again, I don't think it would die on me because I'm quite cautious about using these consoles, and I don't play for like eight hours straight. You know, I'm maybe two hours max and then I'm gonna need a break but here yeah, the Xbox 360 
What really annoys me about that console is that you have to pay that you can play the games online. I mean, I pay money for the freaking console, I buy the game, and then they charge me for additional money just so that I can play the games online. It's I don't like that. I mean, the only thing that I can accept monthly fees, if you want to say so, is on RPGs because RPGs always have a, like a 24/7 customer support and they they've got to keep the server secure and online all the time, so that kind of does cost a lot of money. Although I think that most RPGs you know, are over highly overpriced. I mean, just World of Warcraft, for instance, I think $5 would be okay also, and they would still earn a lot, enough money. But it's another story. So that's the downside on the 360. And then we got the PS3. The PS3 actually doesn't really have any downsides, except it's too expensive and it doesn't offer downwards compatibility. And this is what I don't understand. Well, I do understand it on, on an economy point of view, but it's really bad for the customers. Because the thing with the PS3 and the problems with the PS3 is that if you own a PS2, PS2 already, you wouldn't really gonna go and buy the PS3 because all the games, the new ones, also are released for the PS2. So you're already losing these customers, those who own a PS2. Then you have the PSP, which also happens that a lot of people own that thing. And mostly, yeah, these people also own a PS2 or a PS3 already because they have like endless money. And I think the PSP is like way too expensive for what it offers, but that's just me. But yeah, that's another, you know, a, another enemy in, from the own house, so that, that kind of stops the PS3 sellings. And I got to say, a lot of people say that PS3 doesn't sell as good as the Xbox or the Wii. This is because of these reasons. It's not only because it's too expensive, because I think the PS3 in the long run is cheaper than the Xbox. And if you want, if you really want to save money, you would probably buy the Wii, you know, because it's way cheaper than the other two consoles.